this video, I just want to answer one of the most common questions that I get, which is, what do you do? What is your health program? You know, what do you do on a regular basis? What are you into? What do you practice? Etc. So that's exactly what I'm going to share with you. And you might be completely underwhelmed. <laughs> you might be expecting a bunch of weird stuff, but we'll see. Uh, so generally, what I am doing now, what my focus is for quite a while, is number one, going to bed early <laughs> and waking up early. So going to bed about anywhere from 9 and 10 range, especially now that it's winter and it's getting darker, that's making more sense. So going to bed about 9 or 10 and waking up about 7-ish, 6 or 7 or 8, depending on things. And this sounds really dead simple and ridiculously obvious, but I've not really ever done it in my life. <laughs> I've always just stayed up late and really uh, not had a solid rhythm. So just doing that alone for the last however many uh, months has been really helpful. Along with that, minimizing electronic usage later in the evening once it starts to get dark really avoiding staring at screens, TVs, and computers, and phones, and allowing it to just be dark in my apartment, or darker in my apartment. Uh, and also in my bedroom, having it completely dark, completely blacked out. So that's really the, f the foundation. <laughs> and on the flip side of that is number two, which is eating the bulk of my bigger meals earlier in the day. So lunch, breakfast, happening around 9, sometimes 10 or 11, depending on. Sometimes I don't really feel like eating when I wake up, so I just have tea instead, like what I'm doing now. Um, but generally getting the bulk of the big meals early in the day, because that's when absorption is the highest. That's when our digestion is the strongest and the yang of the cosmos <laughs> is the strongest as well. And I didn't do this for most of my life, actually. The opposite wake up, not really eat much all day, and then eat a bunch at night. And a lot of, some people promote that as like a healthy diet thing, but for me personally, in combination with stress and not sleeping well, uh, led to a lot of uh, malabsorption, so eating but not absorbing. So that's really important because we are what we eat, kind of, but we're also mostly what we actually absorb. <laughs> Things can easily just pass through us without us digesting it. And a lot of our deep digestion comes from sleep. And it's also, so far I've talked about sleeping and eating. The third piece that I'm now going to talk about is moving. And these, these, things, all, these things all interact and relate with each other. So moving, so what I'm doing now is ideally most days training anywhere from two hours to five hours. Ideally, when it's a good day for me, it's more about four-ish hours of doing some kind of training and or movement because I like it and that's what makes me feel really good. Uh, most of my life, pretty much from a little kid all the way up until being 17 or 18, the vast majority of my life was spent moving, playing sports or playing and running around outside and all these things. and. I think it's just natural for humans to move, but we don't really move anymore. We move in just mechanistic ways where we go to our class and we do our set and then we leave. And then that's it. And then we're just sitting on the couch. So uh, along with that, you know, not sitting in one place for too long. So sitting here in this chair, I'm going to sit for like 10, 15 minutes and I'm going to get up and move around. I'm going to sit here for a couple hours and just like, because that feels really bad on the body. And also just uh, within the movement that I'm talking about, there's a range of things depending on what I feel I need. You know, more intense, just movement-based exercises, crawling and push-ups and core work, and then stretching, and then also uh, qigong and other energy practices, stallions and whatnot based within that. And then sometimes circle walking and other practices that I just feel like doing, or maybe I feel like doing stances or stretching or some days I'll just rest or some days just go for a hike it, it's it's variable but ideally trying to move minimum 
you know, two hours all the way to five hours, hopefully on a good day. And eventually my goal now is, or my goal now is to eventually, I should say that more logically, uh, is to move, you know, and be practicing six to eight hours a day. We'll see. Maybe I'll get there. I don't know. So that's the third thing. The fourth thing is, mm, oh, doing things that I enjoy. So minimizing things that are just time wasters and not really that enjoyable for me. So for me personally, that was just wasting a lot of time browsing and clicking around on the internet and being on Facebook and just kind of being idle, which is fine sometimes, but I, I was just personally doing it too much and I don't, too much for me might be normal for other people, but either way, it's too much for me and I don't like it. Uh, so it's spending more time learning and doing things that I enjoy, studying philosophy and Chinese medicine, music and martial arts and tea and whatever herbs that I actually like. So s spending pretty much just all, all my time on that. Just being basically what I'm saying is just being more excessive. <laughs> Not doing really any normal human stuff, but just only doing things that I like and things that I want to do. But I've also worked for pretty much my whole life to get to this point. So it's not like I'm just feel like entitled to it. It's a lot of hard work and still is a lot of hard work. Uh, so that's number four. Number five is just um, uh, working with personal conduct and countenance. So that is modulating actions, whether that is what I say, what I do, what I think, or what I don't do, say or think, and then how I feel. Listening to my gut, listening to my inner voice, and seeing and feeling if it's correct. Uh, and it can be as simple as saying or not saying something in a conversation, or do I want to watch TV right now, or do I just really need to like go for a walk or something. Just simple, basic choices, which can really change how we feel and how we interact with our day. So that's the fifth thing. And that's mostly pretty much it. Uh, I mean, obviously, we could spend hours talking about well, what specifically do you eat? And why do you eat it? And what herbs do you take? And what uh, tea do you drink? Uh, I guess I should say that I also drink a brew gung fu style every day, pretty much. Sometimes one to three times a day or more, depending on what I'm doing. And I like it. Um, herbs varies. Depends. Ganostemma's regular reishi is regular, wild ginseng is a regular. Those are my staples. And then some of my other private reserve formulas like Kushawu basis or a spleen digestion basis as well. So that's it. That's what I do. That's pretty much what I'm working on right now. Nothing crazy or out there, but it's all the basic stuff that we all know, but how often do we actually do it? I don't know. Uh, and sometimes the practice is just doing what you know or doing what feels right for you rather than not doing it. <laughs> so that's it. Uh, if you like the video, post a comment. Uh, maybe post what you're doing and if it's working for you or not. Maybe what you're working on. And uh, subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you soon.